Got a new CPS here out of the box and I'm uh, going to do some priming with some 300 blackout cases here. The CPS will come out of the box as you see here. The elevator assembly will be bottomed out all the way and the shell holder retainer will be installed. So to get started, just remove the shell holder retainer by unscrewing these cap screws in the top. You shouldn't need any tools, but if they, if they did get tightened up during shipping, you might need to grab a tool to loosen them. Uh, next, I'm going to grab my small rifle shuttle uh, conversion here. Get that installed. Grab the correct sized shell holder for the 300 blackout. And then we'll reinstall the shell holder retainer. Now you just want to make sure that these things are tightened equidistant. So I just kind of hold that flat on top of the shell holder there and then tighten these up and just get them good and finger tight. You don't need to use a tool there and we'd recommend that you not use a tool. Then you want to grab your priming rod for the small rifle conversion and drop it into place. I've already got some primers loaded up in our primer feed tube here. So let's drop that in the top of the shuttle hanger and pull the pin. And you can see there that uh, we're feeding primers correctly. Now the elevator is all the way down here, so I'm going to be able to seat a primer much farther than uh, I should be able to. So um, right there, I'm already hitting that uh, casing. So uh, right there, I've got a properly seated primer. I just uh, kind of pushed it in there until I felt the, the anvil hit. And so what I want to do now is get pretty close on the adjustment. So I'll just move the handle forward and then I'll adjust the elevator wheel so that I get a shallower seat. And I'm going to keep going with that until this handle stops moving forward towards me. And if the handle gets stuck, you can kind of give it a little help. Okay, looks like there it stopped. So if I go back and seat deeper, I'll go until I see that handle move a little bit. And it looks like it did right there. So one, and right there it starts moving. Now there will be a little play between the casing and the shell holder, so you might need to just kind of play with that adjustment a little bit, but I'm now pretty close. So if I go deeper, each click is one thousandth of an inch. So if I want to just take up that slack a little bit, uh, we'll just go three thousandths. Now that'll get us uh, pretty close. So that, that three thousandths there that I added, that should take most of the play out of here. Uh, to determine how deep we want to seat these primers, you would first take a unprimed case and you'd run the back stem of your caliper down into that primer pocket and see how deep the primer pocket is. And then you'd grab a primer and measure the primer thickness. And then based on the numbers you receive there and how much you subtract, you can, you can determine how deep you want to get that primer set into the case. When you run the shuttle, you can see the primers will come across the hole there and you'll be able to get a good glance at them and uh, you'll be able to see whether or not they're oriented correctly. But if you, if you want to be double sure, you can just lift the handle a little bit and you can have that primer come up through the hole there and you can get a good look at it. Make sure it's oriented correctly before you try to seat the primer. Now there is a hard stop in this tool, so it doesn't matter how hard I push on this, I cannot seat the primer any deeper than what I have set here. So that's a pretty nice feature.
And you can run the shuttle very slow. Or you can run it really fast. <laughs> 